Hey, love bugs. This is Robin back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed this afternoon, this evening, this morning, whenever you decide to watch this. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming over to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe. Give it that notification bell so you know when your girl about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I would love to get positive feedback. And I would love to get a chance to know who my viewers are and know a little bit more about them. So, and if you enjoyed what you have heard, please like, share. It would be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and seeing what's up for me today. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? What's up with you? Much love and light. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing so much love and support. I really do appreciate it. And today I'm listening to 432 hertz of miracle music, raise positive energy. Deeply, deeply relaxing and healing vibrations of 42, uh, 432 hertz music. So I really like this, and plus it has a really neat, like, graphic on it. It's like, you know, the woman told her hands up, and you can see all this positive energy around her. So I really suggest this good meditation, because it's a good vibe, because I've been giggling. That's why you see me laughing and stuff like that right before my videos, because I'll get this good energy, and I feel like I'm in my spirits, like... You know, the spirit guys just bless me with the wisdom or whatever I need to put out in my videos. Because I really don't write too much stuff down unless it's like, um, you know, I want to make sure I get things accurate. Because I don't want to send something out and it's false, you know. Just like, you know, you come back and like, oh, Rosalind, you know, this is not what this says, this and this and that. So I always try to make sure I write things down if it's something that I really feel like it will intrigue you or it's something I feel like you really need to to know at the time so I write stuff down but usually I just pray and meditate for a few minutes just right before I do my videos and just ask you know for the guidance and the wisdom on whatever I need to put in my video so but anyway it's back to what I have on my content today for twin flame 101 hell could be the eye of the tiger it's like lately I've been seeing so many visions of these beautiful tigers because the first one was kind of aggressive but it was like, if you've probably seen one of my thumbnails where I have a beautiful white tiger, which is very rare, jumping in this water and you see its teeth. And it's like, you never know, but just from that instant, you're like, you're kind of terrified. But you don't want to be terrified of the tiger because in actuality, our spirit totems, we carry that in a tiger in us. So we have to be that king eye, you know, how you see you know, tigers in the jungle, you know, even though they're, you know, very vicious and they can kill us <laughs> any time, but you have to be the eye of that tiger, you have to find that inner wisdom in yourself, and it was just like I was reading up on it, and I know I'm about to be talking about something good, and my nose start itching, like crazy, when I know I really get into something deep, <laughs> my nose start itching right before I start doing a video, but, um, when you see yourself as the eye of a tiger and you start getting those visions when you're on your journey and stuff like that, because even it could be the littlest thing, like you could be outside, just looking outside and next thing you know, you'll see a bumblebee or you'll see a dragonfly or you might even see a cat or a squirrel or a snake or a raccoon. It's just whatever presents itself in, at the time is sending you a message and it was like at that time with me I kept seeing the white tiger and it was like how did you feel at the time and you have to ask yourself when you see things like this when you're on your journey it's just so many things sends us so many synchronicities and so many signs to tell us 
along our path things that we need to know about ourselves and you know what we need to do and you know guide us along our way to just send us help so because when you know even though we feel like we could be alone at times trust me we are never alone we are never alone even when we feel like we're getting away with stuff just because the person might not know that we're doing something they know the universe knows so it's just like, you know, when you're seeing these things and, you know, I said, okay, I got to be the eye of the tiger. You know, you have to find this courage within yourself. Don't fear the unknown. We fear like that. We don't understand stuff. You're like, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know, because when I was on my journey and finding out all these different, you know, spiritual things about me was so foreign to me. I felt like I had a virgin mind and it was just like... Oh my gosh, I'm getting so excited because I've always been curious to know more about things. I always, you know, read up on things, watch the videos about it, practice it. You know, anything that, that just fell in my lap that I needed to know about or there was stuff that I was very intrigued about. So that's my drive. You know, that's my strength. And, you, you know, I have to find that inner strength within myself. Don't be afraid. You know, you, you might not know everything all at once you're not supposed to know everything all at once you just need to go with the flow go where the spirit guides guide you to you know go on that path and just you know live you know live with your strength and keep moving you know you, you be the eye of that tiger and you find that power within yourself and don't resist it you know surrender whatever is not serving you anymore surrender to the things that you know has been holding you back whatever you've been fearing for this time you know you have to do that you know you can't be living in in life in fear all the time you know i'm not no adrenaline junkie i ain't talking about going up on the side of the buildings and hanging off i ain't talking about stuff like that now that's just crazy <laughs> people do that to each his own way you know i'll be finding no thrills out of doing stuff like that but it, it's just like but i enjoy even though my my journey can be hard at times and it can be frustrating at times and be confusing but it's like one of those adventurous movies or adventurous books that you get into whatever you know your true passion is what you enjoy you have to put that as a metaphor of what you're going through and it's like it, it's like you're basically not saying you're dumb but dumb it down dot com it's like breaking down to where you understand it you know, you understand that. I say that for myself, but I'm not saying that for other people. But I say I'm a dumb it down dot com for me. You know. And just going about my mission and doing what I have to do and just know that, you know, what I'm doing is not in vain. You might, you know, at first when you're on that journey, you might not see, you know, different things changes, but if you're not paying attention, you will notice things. And it was just like, you know, I always ask myself, am I on the right path? Am I doing the right things? Heck, yes, I'm doing the right things. I see, you know, I see the results of me manifesting the things that I want to do. You know, I want to, you know, to be able to help people. I want to be able to motivate people to reach out for themselves, open their minds up to the possibilities. You are not just you. You've been placed in this mission, on this path for a reason. You went through the things you went through for a reason. No matter how bad, how traumatizing, how traumatic, it made a possi possibility of putting you, you know, it, it's just like God and the universe have a good sense of humor. Kind of bad in a sense, but a good sense of humor. The way they can rattle our lives up a little bit, you know, take things away from us that we hold dear. There might be things that we might have taken for granted, and that might be our punishment at that time, but it had to wake you up some kind of way. Just like my father, he had to pass away, he had to go and do his thing, and that had shook me up. So I had to be able to go on my mission to be able to open up and start doing video diaries for myself, start jotting things down, telling my feelings to myself because I couldn't trust anybody else or couldn't talk to nobody else but could truly understand what I'm talking about. And then it led me here, you know, making videos every day or, you know, opening up, knowing things about myself that I wasn't even sure about. I'm still not sure about, but, you know, I'm curious. I'm going to keep moving. I'm not going to give up, even though you might have doors slamming your face. 
you might hear a no. No is the next opportunity. Don't the no don't mean stop right there. That means okay, you get your butt up, dust yourself off, like Leah said, and try again. Keep going. Keep going because that lets the universe know, you know what? We keep throwing this ideas in that person's head and having them go go do this. And they might have a door slam in their face and they say, Okay, you know, they might get frustrated and say, Bump that, I don't want to deal with it. Okay. That's just telling the universe, okay, well, they said they wanted this, they really didn't want it that bad. And I know I must be getting good in something because my nose is itching like crazy. I'm so sorry, y'all. That's so rude, but my nose is itching like crazy. But it, it's just like when you do that, it's like when I went and I've done the things I've done, you know, I reached out to my dad's inner circle, you know, I didn't hear anything, you know, I've reached out to family members, didn't hear anything, but I kept going, I kept going, everything happened for a reason, because the universe said, you know what, we put things on her path, we made her go on these missions, even though it might have been a failed mission, she kept going, and she kept going, I kept taking those bumps and bruises, you keep walking down that path, you might see a fist coming to you, you dodge it. You know, it's like you're going through Karate Kid with Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> you're going through Mr. Miyagi, and he's trying to tell you, wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. He, you know, little uh, Daniel son had to go through all those those trials and tribulations, but guess up? Guess what? He came out broken, bruised, but that boy still won the fight at the end of the day. So basically, that is what I'm trying to tell you. Keep on on your mission. You might fall. You might get bumped. You might break something a little bit. But do not give up. You keep going. Be the eye of that tiger. Find that hidden courage in yourself. Find that hidden fire. That's, you know, light that fire up under your booty and keep going. Keep pushing. Don't give up on what you need to get. But I'm telling you, the worst thing you want to do is give up right there at that finish line and turn around when you were right there. And that's what a lot of people do. When they feel like they have that urge that they want to do something or they have this this talent and it's just like i like i watch the voice and i see so many people have turned away because as soon as they see that crowd they freeze up and they turn around and don't realize how much they can probably impact somebody's life with their voice so you have that voice for yourself and use it but I'm not going to hold you up today. I was like, I felt in my spirit. So I just felt like I really had to get that out. So I hope, you know, I felt like somebody really needed to hear this today. And I hope that you were able to get something out of it that I was trying to say. I will keep you in my prayers. And I definitely hope you do the same for me. Send out as much love and light and positive frequency. If you see somebody real low, and raise it to the roof. And I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. Like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line or two, I would love to hear from you and get to know you better. And share the video if you feel free. And peace, much love. You are.